Programming is made possible in part by the DeGrazia Gallery in the Sun on North Swan Road at Skyline. Local support for this program comes from Tucson Electric Power Company in cooperation with Tucson's Wildlife Rehabilitation Council. Tucson Electric Power Company urges you to call the Wildlife Helpline at 792-3947 if you find injured, sick, or dead wildlife. When it comes to home building, human innovation is just another piece in the puzzle of survival. For people, survival of the fittest may really be survival of the most innovative. Recycled paper, there's a little bit of dirt in here, used as a binder. Funding for The Desert Speaks has been provided by Asarco Incorporated, celebrating a century of accomplishment as an international producer of copper. Asarco, producing the metals we all need respecting the environment we all value. By the Arizona Game and Fish Department and Heritage Fund, managing Arizona's fish and wildlife resources as an enduring public trust. Managing today, for wildlife tomorrow, and for generations yet to come. And by the Desert Program Partners and Arizona State Parks. Just about every kind of animal builds a home. Whether it's a nest, or a den, or a castle. Every critter needs a place where they feel protected. But out of all animals, I'm willing to venture that nobody else builds as many different kinds of homes as people do. Probably because people inhabit just about every place on Earth. To do that, we have to be very adaptable. Especially when it comes to creating the spaces we live in. Being innovative is really just a fancy kind of adaptability when it comes to home building. <laughs> As the world changes, so do the needs of people. And this is where adaptability comes in handy. I'm, I've been told all along that it's very versatile. You can cut it and shape it as you need. But until you start doing it yourself and see for yourself, uh, you're not convinced, and now I am convinced. It's, it's, it's quite easy to work with. And uh, I was surprised that uh, you used pretty much the same tools as a mason would use, a plum, a string, and those kinds of things, a, a, a chainsaw. Uh. <laughs> My main concern, it's no different than building with any building material that I remembered in time to include all the features I want to in the walls, uh, the electrical ports, uh, coax, computer hookups, those kinds of things, because once uh, you pour the concrete, it's uh, cast in concrete, so to speak. However, even if, you, if I missed out on that, there's other techniques you can put them in afterwards, but it's just easier to do it before you, you pour. Recycling is one way people adapt to the increasing strain waste puts on our environment. By using recycled steel, this builder is also saving money. This uh, is what is known as a light gauge structural steel. Here are 20 gauge exterior. Uh, they support the, the weight of the roof. Typical Phoenix area concrete floor is about four inches thick. Ours is six inches and we have ceramic tile on the surface. Now for our walls, we have a special uh, product that's called an Integra Thermal Mass 
block wall. It's basically an H-shaped block, but the interior part of the block is thicker than the exterior. The thick interior portion stores heat. All the insulation in the thermal mass wall is sprayed in. So it has a very tight seal. There's no gain of heat for, through infiltration in this house. In the hot, arid areas like Phoenix and Tucson, you want to keep your structure in general from getting too hot.